okay guys so in today's video we are going to discuss paper two so under paper two we are going to discuss about the topic of inventory so i picked the question guys that was written in 2023 it was june examination for those who are doing upgrade those who are writing i think it's supplementary those who are rewriting a metric so this is more like a final examination to them so i picked that question uh, so that we can be able to discuss some two methods of inventory that you need to know okay the first one we are going to discuss a first in first out method and the second one we are going to discuss identification uh, method okay let's look at the question uh, that we have they say that uh, mandy jones is the owner of tv city that sells tv set and has two branch shop in kzn the periodic stock system is used okay and they say no machine item were recorded for the financial year end 28 february 2023 okay now let's proceed 2.1 Howick branch okay this company have different branches number branch number one is called Howick branch this branch sell a stick tv set okay 2.1 2.1 calculate the value of closing stock a closing stock okay closing is the balance at the end okay of arctic tv set on 28 february 2023 using first in first out method five marks and 2.2 calculate stock holding period so you know when you will talk about stock holding period you must know your formulas likely enough you are going to be gi given a formula sheet which means that uh, this is not going to be problem but in this case they say that using a closing stock figure because the formula said you have to use average but in this case they already specified that you have to use closing figure okay so before we go to the second branch let's work out these two questions question 2.1.1 they want us to calculate FIFO method closing stock okay if you check uh, the table the first table they give us a stick tv set okay let's analyze it they give us opening stock on 1 march 2022 and they give us different purchases and they also give us a return of 60 units okay and closing stock they tell us that uh, the closing stock is 270 unit and the sales is 100 1550 okay now because we have a closing stock uh, unit it's going to be simple for us to start we have 270 270 remaining now we have to calculate what we have to calculate closing stock using the unit of 270 okay when we talk about first in first out method simply means that the inventory that we purchase first we are going to sell them first look at the spaza shop or I think it was power shop right in any other shop if you are you're you're you are purchasing a bread i know that you do that when you 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 take a bread you don't you don't take the front one you go and take the back one the reason is because the front one they have a very close date of expiry date but the other one they are still fresh enough that's why uh, you attempt to take those other one the reason is because you are looking for for the fresh one the reason why the shop is doing this is be, it's not because they want to give you uh, those one that are very close to expire first no they are trying to use first in first out method because they don't want those bread to expire so they are saying that the bread that they purchase first they want to sell them first okay so this is the method first in first out method okay which means that the one that we have on the opening balance we already sold them the first purchases we sold them which means that the closing balance we have to look at the 
last purchase. If you check our last purchase, it was the one twenty three, but it was three hundred unit, and out of those three hundred unit, there was sixty return. You have to take note of this. We were going to take this two seventy out of that three hundred, but before we take that three hundred, uh, two seventy out of that three hundred, you need to be careful of sixth of return. This sixth of return, you must first subtract it to three hundred, and it's gonna give you how much? Two foot. Which means that, okay, now two forty we have it, but it's not enough to cover this two seventy of closing. Which means that we have to take further 30. 30 we're going to take it to the next one. September of unit of 400. We're going to take it. Because in total guys, you don't take the whole 400. In total it must give you 270. Okay. Which means that now we know that this 240 is from unit cost of 4,100. And this one is from uh, 4,000. Okay. Then now we can get the answers. Okay, the answers. Uh, the first one uh, is gonna give us nine eight four thousand, and the other one is gonna give us one twenty thousand. Okay, then it's gonna give you one million one hundred and four thousand, just like that. That's the answer that we were looking for for five marks. Okay, the next one they said calculate holding stock period in days. Okay, so the formula for this one is very simple. You have to say that because. In this case, we are not going to use average because they already told us that we have to use a closing stock figure. Our formula is going to say inventory divided by cost of sales. And the closing stock is the one that we calculated. 1104,000 divided by cost of sales. Okay. Then our cost of sales. Uh, let's take our cost of sales. Is six million and ten thousand just like that just because we are looking for days how many days we hold which means that we have to multiply by number of of days which is 365 okay it's gonna give us 67 days in other words we hold this inventory for 60 seven days which means that this company is not selling a bread you can hold a bread a 67 days guys otherwise um this puzzle shop will be smelling very tight so they are not selling a bread of course they are selling something like a, it can be closed something that does not expire okay now let's continue okay the next one we have to go to another branch Okay, now the next branch uh, is Deben branch. This branch sell Pacific and the Caspian Smart TV set. Mandy was concerned about the following issue. Number one, Caspian Smart TV will be too expensive for her customer. And high stock level in all her products might negatively affect the business. Okay. Obvious Mandy probably will check that uh, it's a local area where people they don't work properly. It's not like uh, those who are staying in center and midrand and all those big uh, cities. So he real she realizes that no man, these people cannot be able to afford this. Which means that you it you you have to come up with some uh, knowledge that you have to apply because this kind of scenario they are going to ask you a questions okay but however in this case guys we are just going to calculate they said refer to information a and b 2.2 calculate the value 
of closing stock of Pacific TV set on 28 February 2023 using specific identification method. And 2.2, calculate gross profit in on sales of new Caspian Smart TV set, three marks. Okay, we are going to calculate 2.1. Okay, let's take information A and B. Okay, information A. They say that urban branch stock record uh, they give us a specific and Caspian smart. Okay, and the question said we have to calculate specific TV set only. Okay, so the first one we are calculating using identification method. When we talk about identification method, guys, this is the method that we have to apply if we are calculating a big item, like if you are selling a car, guys. You can't do average price. You can't put a Picanto and you also put a Ferrari, Mercedes Benz, and you said you are, you are adding amount together and you calculate average. It does not work like that. Picanto and a, what do we call it, Ferrari, is not even related. So we have to use specific identification. We have to identify that Picanto is costing 30,000. Ferrari is costing 2 million, just like that. You, we can't do average, guys, with those two cars. They are not related. We have to use specific identification method. Okay. So, now let's check. In this case, because they are selling a set of TV, they said that the cost price is 9300 okay, for everything in this case. Okay. But for Caspian Smart, is 10,200 you see they divided the price a uh, pacific is another price the other one another price okay now how are we going to calculate it in this case it's very simple opening stock is 350 purchase is 800,000 and they sell 760 now we have to identify how many remaining very simple we have 350 at the beginning and we add the one of 800 of purchase and we subtract a closing of how much of 765 okay we're gonna left with 385 because it's the same price guys no issue you just multiply by 9300 then it's gonna give you amount of okay Amount of three million five hundred and eighty and five hundred. Okay. Then two point two. That's how you calculate specific identification method, guys. Unless if you are given different product, you must do them separate. If they said we also have to calculate another one of uh, Caspian Smart. We were going to calculate it separately. We don't add them together, those units, because the price is not the same. Okay, Picanto one side, Ferrari one side. Okay, 2.2. Uh, calculate the gross profit in on sales of Caspian Smart TV set. Um, we have to calculate a gross profit. Maybe before we go to this last one, guys. Please, those who want to attend our extra class, extra class is still 60 rand per month. So once you join extra class, guys, it's going to be very simple for you because if you have any query or any question that you have, you're just going to ask us on WhatsApp and we're going to attempt on your problems. Because if you, you, are, you are not part of uh, our extra class, because what I've realized, especially when you were writing much examination, I got a lot of messages when people are writing tomorrow. There, there, were, there were a lot of messages around 10 o'clock at night. Imagine that time I was even sleeping. People, new people are coming. Hey, can you teach me income statement? Hey, man. Income statement. You are writing tomorrow. Even if you, you, you pay for extra class, what am I going to do if you are attending in a last minute? There is no way that I can assist. So please, guys, make sure that you join our class as soon as possible so that we can be able to help you whenever that you feel like you are facing a difficulties 
okay so don't come in a last minute don't wait for last minute okay it's only 60 rand per month i make it only 60 rand so that everyone can be able to afford because we know that our people they don't have enough money we we can't let you guys pay uh, 300 i saw some other youtubers they they were saying that it's 400 per month i mean i said i can't i can't do that high school learners they depend on their parents so 60 rand is very fair enough to everyone to afford it 60 rand per month okay now let's do the last one the last one they want us to calculate the gross profit guys gross profit you can calculate it using two methods number one sales minus cost of sales is gross profit or you can just uh, say the formula is either you are given sales you apply markup cost of sales you apply markup it's gonna give you the same okay so in this case uh, <clears throat> we are given uh, let's check let's check let's check we are given the sales amount no cost of sales okay a sales amount is 10 million nine hundred and thirty four thousand and four hundred okay because we're given a markup uh, <clears throat> remember they said we have to calculate for caspian smart not the one that we're calculating caspian smart okay then the markup is 60 percent 60 percent okay this one million is sales sales is 160 percent because it's 100 which is normal plus 60 of markup is 160. now if you are looking for cost of sales you're gonna say 100. if you are looking for gross profit you're gonna say 60. okay then after that is gonna give you four million one hundred and four hundred i hope you enjoy guys please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so that more videos can appear to you and you learn more i'm gonna see you on the next one